Hi guys, it looks as though spring has finally arrived. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some spring cleaning motivation and getting my house ready for the new season. So I'm going to be doing some tasks around my house that I don't tend to do every single week. We're going to be clearing away cobwebs, some really dusty areas in my home, wiping down baseboards and walls, getting my bedding spring fresh, and even tackling the outside garden area as well. Matt gets the jet wash out and we're preparing all of that because we're expecting our new garden furniture to arrive any day and we're definitely going to be entertaining more now that it is nice and sunny outside and there's so many bank holidays coming up so I hope you really enjoy this video I hope it motivates you to start spring cleaning and I'll also put a list in the description down below with my like spring cleaning checklist if you want to check it out I'll put it down there um, and yeah I hope you enjoy this video give it a big like if you you do and subscribe if you're new and I'm also going to be showing you all of the spring products that I'm using today they smell incredible and I just I'm so excited to try them out so first off we're in the kitchen and there's just a, a little bit of general mess so I'm quickly going to tidy that up sometimes I feel like I need a bit of a clean canvas to get started with like a deeper cleaning as well and once my surfaces are cleared I'm gonna wipe down my countertops with one of my favorite products products which is spray wipe done I've shared this before it's so easy to use and effective and this one is in the scent pink tulips and white jasmine so it's perfect for spring and it's actually part of a bigger limited edition spring range it's actually the biggest ever spring range to have the same spring scent across all of my favorite products it's such a huge range it's called country garden and it covers laundry dishes, floor, surfaces. You can literally use it across every room in your house. And I did this clean yesterday and it honestly smells like you're walking through a spring country garden when you walk through my house. I also saw Mrs. Hinge transform her house from winter to spring using this collection recently. So today I'm basically gonna hinge my house. So it's got Flash, Febreze, Bold, um, Fairy, Lenore. You can see it all there. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use all of these today but it's very exciting it's also all pink which is an added bonus and once all the surfaces are clean I'm going to put the faux flower arrangement back I love how big this vase is and the arrangement itself is made up of faux eucalyptus and faux blueberries as well and I love the way it looks especially for spring I'm also going to wipe down our bar stools we have three kids and they get pretty messy, but it's definitely been a while since I've given them a really good wipe down. Luckily, these are like made of like a faux leather. So they're perfect if you have kids because often they'll spill yogurt or food or sauce, anything. It comes right off. So that is definitely a plus. So I'm giving that a good once over. And then I'm also going to move on to our dining table. I wipe this down so often just because we've got this great glass topper on it but it does get fingerprints and watermarks and stuff so I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down and then we're going to go upstairs and refresh the boys bedding for spring why you want to let me go na, na, now are you saying that to change your mind for love or pity let me know na, na, now because you love
know it's such a beautiful day outside that I'm gonna wash the boys bedding because I know I can hang it out in the sunshine and it dry really quickly and for this I'm going to use the Country Garden limited edition range you can get either the bold all-in-one pods or the bold gel in this scent I'm gonna use the pods today and this is the dream team that I will be using so first up I'm gonna pop a pod into the empty drum of my washing machine always make sure you close the packet with a click and store it up high out of reach from children and then I'm gonna add in a capful of Lenore in wash scent boosters this has a handy guide inside the cap so you can see there it says you like scent you love scent so I normally go like somewhere in the middle um, I love using this especially on bedding and towels I feel like it keeps it fresh for so long then I'm gonna add in all of my bedding this washing machine has like an 8 kg limit so it really can hold a lot so I've got Caleb and Fraser's bedding all in there and then I'm going to add in some Lenore fabric conditioner so just a catful in the drawer there this again is in the pink tulips and white jasmine scent and all of it together just makes it smell so fresh so like spring um, and then I'm just going to put it on a daily wash on 30 and while I'm in here I'm also going to change my Febreze plug-in for the new country garden scent as you can see my old one has finished so it's so simple to change you just take the caps off of your new refill and just pop it in then plug it into the wall and that is it and what I love about this is there's three different scents and it's constantly changing so you never get nose blind to one of the scents you can always smell it um, and I don't have it on all the time just whenever I think the room needs like a bit of a refresh then I've come downstairs and I'm going to turn on this dishwasher because it's quite full from breakfast and I really want to show you how I like to use my dishwasher for spring cleaning because you don't only need to wash dishes in there but I'm going to use a fairy towel tablet again from the same range it's literally so huge okay so next up I'm gonna clean our downstairs toilet and I'm gonna spring clean it in that I'm gonna wash down the walls and the baseboards and there's also some really dusty areas in this room this is a brand new room we actually knocked down a wall to make it double the size that it used to be and we built a wall and it's amazing how long dust settles and because we went for like a darker paint color in this room you can actually see the dust quite a lot so the baseboards really needed it um, I also wanted to wipe down all of the walls this actually didn't take me very long at all and it was really satisfying because there were like watermarks and just fingerprints stuff like that so I'm going to give it a quick wipe down and then I'm also well you would have seen I wiped down the sink and I'm also going to clean the toilet as well having four boys in this house means this toilet has quite high traffic gets quite messy and I know some of you guys will have seen this hack of taking off the whole toilet seat most seats do this there's a button that you can press and you can just pull the whole lot off so that you can give it a really good deep clean this shower has actually not been used yet but on top of the shower head you can see how much dust is settling so I really wanted to give that a quick wipe there's also some cobwebs so I'm using my duster first and then I'm going to use a cloth to wipe it down as well that I can't live without you all my friends reassure that it's obvious And that maybe I'm wasting my time But I gotta try The only reason I keep sneaking out at night To act with you in secret under city lights Surprised you never had the guts to figure out How I feel about you I'm also going to put a new spring Febreze air freshener in this room and I love these ones because you don't actually need any batteries or electric for it so it's perfect for bathrooms and all you have to do to activate it is just click the button on the back and that is literally it you'll be able to smell it as you walk into the bathroom now and I'm also going to clean the floors so within the country garden range they have two options for floors they have the speed mop pads like this which I'm going to actually use or they also have the flash all-purpose floor cleaner but the speed mop is perfect for quick cleans like this so quick and easy to use you basically just open out one of the wipes 
put the speed mop in and then secure it at each corner. It's so simple. And a wipe like this will easily do this entire room. And even though the floor actually doesn't look too dirty on the camera, it looks a little bit worse in real life. I'm always so amazed at how much dirt actually comes up when I run around with speed mop like this. I also love that it doesn't really take long at all. It's really quick and easy and it's nice and small so you can navigate like around the toilet, behind the toilet. Um, and yeah, the floor is looking so much nicer and this is how the pad is looking afterwards. So I'm glad all of that is up. But anyway, that is the downstairs toilet looking and smelling so much better. I love this room so much. So it's really nice to have it looking its best. And once I've done all of that, it's all clean. The laundry is all done. So I'm going to run upstairs and get all of that out of the washing machine. It smells incredible. And I'm actually going to hang it outside on our trampoline. Often when it's like throughout winter, I've just been hanging stuff indoors on our bed frame, but it's such a beautiful day. And I find when I hang it all on the trampoline, it dries so quickly. So yeah, I'm just going to hang it all out. problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on quickly sweeped our balcony I'm so excited to be able to use that more and then I'm going to clean the cobwebs I hadn't actually realized how bad these have gotten but luckily I've got this great extendable duster which is perfect for this we also use this outside on our zinc because it can get some cobwebs as well but I'm just going to quickly clear all of those up and then I'm going to go downstairs and sort out our living area it gets quite messy we have a cream couch I've talked about it before so we cover it in blankets to protect it from the dog and the kids and then if we ever have like company over we take all the blankets off and I can wash them like if there's crumbs we don't actually let the kids eat on this couch but somehow some crumbs still get on here I must admit I do let them have popcorn sometimes so that's probably what it is but I'm also going to vacuum um, underneath the blankets as well and then put them back nicely so it looks a little bit more in order and then I'm also going to use some air freshener in this space just to make it smell like spring and I'm also going to vacuum this area over here as well you we were like fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -hmm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on
So now we have to try to move on. Okay, so that is our living area looking so much cleaner and it was so nice to be able to actually open out the doors now that the sun is shining. Now I'm going to wash up a few dishes by hand. There is a pan in the sink left over from lunch where I had poached eggs. So I'm just going to wash that up and empty the dishwasher because it is done now. And I want to show you how I'm going to fill it with our storage containers. Under all of our bathroom sinks, pretty much, we have these like plastic storage containers which is great for things like toothbrushes, toothpaste, stuff like that. And they can actually get quite messy, but it's so simple to just stick them into the dishwasher and not really think about it too much. So you can see this is Matt's one from his toothbrush and toothpaste. It's been ages since I've done this, so they are really quite messy. Um, my makeup ones get messy as well, and when they do, I just stick them into the dishwasher. It's like the easiest thing. Some of these are from Amazon. Some of these are from the Home Edit. Um, I'm also gonna get the boys toothbrush holders from their rooms, <laughs> that's Fraser's one. And we've even got a set of toothbrushes downstairs. I'm sure some of you guys do this, but if you don't and you have a downstairs toilet, it is such a game changer. When you're running out the door in the morning, you can just say, oh, go brush your teeth, and it's just literally right there. So anyway, I'm gonna put all of these containers into the dishwasher and turn it on and then obviously I can just put them all back later on and it's a really good opportunity to also declutter, reorganize things, it just freshens everything up and I'm even washing the toothbrush heads in the top of the dishwasher so again I'm using a fairy tablet from the country garden range just going to stick that on and I'm also going to put some boiling water in this jug and put the toothbrushes upside down. You know, sometimes our electric toothbrushes can get a little bit gunky just at the top. Obviously, they're electric. You don't really want to put them in the dishwasher. You could put a normal toothbrush in the dishwasher, um, but I'm actually just going to soak them in boiling water and then give them a really good scrub and let them dry. And then we're going to have nice, clean toothbrushes. Okay, so while I've been doing all of that, Matt is starting outside with the jet washer. He actually loves doing this. It's so satisfying. I think you'll see in this footage how satisfying it is as well. Uh, but it was very needed. So our porch was really dirty and dusty. So he's going to give that a really good jet wash. And then once it's dry, I'm going to create some kind of spring porch. I need to get like a spring doormat, maybe a couple of pots of plants as well. And he's also going to jet wash um, the patio in the garden. It's really messy at the moment. Some of you may remember we got like quite light stoned patio. The only problem with that is it gets quite muddy um, as you will see in a minute yes here we go it's really quite dirty also Kiki wheeze on it if the grass is wet she won't go on it also we had our garden reseeded this autumn and I'm guessing some of the seeds got into the little rocks around the trimming because there's loads of grass growing through so Matt is going to try and get that out as well the dog kept looking at him like why can't I come out while you're doing this? But you didn't want to scare her with the jet wash. He's also going to mow the lawn um, and jet wash that little patio at the very end of our garden. This is such a nice spot to sit, look out over the view, especially in the summer. And we're actually getting a little pagoda to go in this area, maybe a fire pit as well. We're going to make it really nice. So he's going to jet wash that because as I said, our garden furniture is arriving any day. So we thought we'll do it now before it comes so that it doesn't get jet washed as well. Um, but first off, he's just going to mow the lawn. Look at the lawn under the trampoline. Honestly, we are still seriously considering getting fake grass because it's really hard to maintain, isn't it? Um, and he's also going to take up all of these rocks. He thought he would wash them and and then also pull up any weeds that he can because as I said, things are just growing through. We've only had this for a year and it's amazing how much is coming through. So I think he's gonna spray some weed killer in this area as well and just get jet washing. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. 
is jet washing i didn't realize how much this was needed until i watched this footage and matt actually said to me he wants a new jet washer for christmas this one was actually his dad's and it's still going but you can get even stronger ones now like with more pressure so i'm going to note that down for <laughs> his christmas how exciting is that gift um, but he's also going to get all of the leaves out of our door track because obviously you really don't want that to clog um, or get something stuck in it and when we used to have artificial lawn in our old house he used to also jet wash that and so much stuff would come up and off of it it was incredible so yeah we're going to try and keep this nice as long as we can but if it rains I'm sure the mud will be back <laughs> um, and yeah now that he's jet washed he's also going to wash all of the windows as well because obviously it's been spraying up at those Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder Baby, kick your shoes off, you don't have to hide it Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder Baby, kick your shoes off, don't hide it So that is everything that we're going to do today. I'm so glad that we started and I feel like we can have people over for spring now. We can entertain. There's so many bank holidays coming up. We're definitely going to have some friends and family over and the garden's looking great and the houses as well. It smells amazing in here. So anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>